Welcome back to Suzy Lola. Today's video is very highly requested and it's how I hand make clothing using lino prints. This is so easy, very affordable and just such a fun thing to do to spice up some pieces in your wardrobe. Maybe you want to make some clothes for friends or you want to sell clothes like I did. This print that I'm wearing is one of the pieces that I made recently for my stamp drop. By the time you're watching this they would have already been launched. If there's any left on my Depop I will let you know right now. But if not follow me on my Instagram, my art Instagram, my Depop and my TikTok to know when um, I'll next be selling clothes. I've been lino printing for years and I think it's one of my favourite printing method ways. I'll show you some of my favourite lino prints, I love doing all of these and collecting them and not only are they great to print onto fabric, they're amazing for art prints and making cards and things like that for people so they're really just a win-win you should definitely experiment with them. First stop is lino itself, today I'll be using the grey one, this one's got the woven back and it's quite um, hard. It's probably my favourite one to use but it does get quite tiring to carve in. The one that I used when I first started is that much softer kind of creamy one. I love that one. It goes so smoothly. It's way more like pleasing to use I feel. Um, both are still good and both make great prints and I use both types. Second is the lino carving tools. These are obviously super super important. You can't do this without them. I will link the ones that I have down in the description. I'm pretty sure I got them in a starter kit by this brand which so many art shops sell. I got my from Cass Art and I like how it all comes in this little contraption so that you're never gonna lose your different carving nibs and stuff and the last thing you'll need is a roller I've got two I've got a slightly bigger one and a smaller one you don't need two I just happen to have them again you can get these anywhere they're pretty important but I will say that for a lot of designs I just use a paintbrush and if you are doing a really small simple design a paintbrush is so fine so you don't really need it I guess if you want to save money but it is pretty good <laughs> and the last thing that you'll need is of course pe okay the postman just came and I actually just got my new favorite jumper bury me in this jumper oh life is good the last thing you obviously need is the material that you're going to print with if you want to wash your clothes it's best to just go with fabric paint of some kind if you want to do lino printing not just on fabric a hundred percent get some actual lino paint you can get these anywhere they can be expensive um, I have a big fat red one that's Casa own brand that I think I got on sale a couple years ago and that's brilliant the tube is massive it's lasting me so long but once we get onto the printing step I'll show you the paint that I use for my clothes first step thinking of your design. For me personally, I get 99% of my inspiration from Pinterest. I will plug mine down below. I have a whole art and craft board that I'm constantly adding to. It gives me inspo um, for prints, DIY clothes, exhibition creation, everything, you name it. I also have another board which is called DIY clothes where I save anything that gives me inspiration of clothes that I can make myself. So definitely check me out, give me a follow if you want. So once you've thought of your design, I tend to go to Illustrator to sketch it out and then I will print it from there. And then it's very important to flip your images because whatever is going to be on the lino is going to be reversed once you print it over. So that is very important, especially if you want to print any text. Okay, transferring your print onto the lino. I do the age old trick of graphiting slash like penciling the back of it and then sellotaping it to the piece of lino that I've chosen and then I just go through and trace with like a ballpoint pen I find kind of works the best. Pressing down quite hard especially if you've got a lot of detail you want to make sure that it's all being picked up. Then once you've done this, you can get to linoing. I will leave a simple lino print tutorial down below on how to carve, but I just use the lino print tools that I have and I'll just go around taking out the space that I don't want to be printed. I tend to mainly just use the number two tool. I find that it doesn't cut too deep where you kind of cut through the lino, but you can still get some detail with it. And yeah, I'll change up to one and three depending how detailed the piece is, but I tend to stick to two. I also found that it's best to go slow with lino printing at the amount of times um, I press too hard or my hands are crossing over to each other and I end up cutting myself or just making a hole and going over a line and then I have to change my design slightly. But that is what I love about lino, not everything is perfect. You can easily by accident go over a line that you didn't want to and then it kind of changes the design a bit but I think there's like a nice um, DIY make do and mend charm to that personally. <laughs> 
once you finish carving the next step is to think about what you want to print on obviously the most sustainable thing is looking within your own wardrobe and seeing what pieces you already have available it's free and it's the best thing for the environment the next one second hand of course Vinted, eBay, they're amazing to source secondhand simple basics. Some of the pieces that I printed on were already in my own wardrobe in my DIY basket ready for me to do something to, but the rest of them I did buy on Vinted and eBay. And so many people sell kids white vests in bulk as that's how they come in like packs from supermarket and then tailor it to the kids section and the ages that you can fit. The smallest kids top I've ever had and printed on, I think it's about seven years old and that fits like a size six slash eight Eight. but of course charity shops kids sections at charity shops are a gold mine for things like this they can often be a little bit cheaper because you're not paying postage so you can actually get these tops for like one to three pounds were on Vinted because of like the shipping fee you're gonna pay a little bit more and that's why on Vinted I think it's great when you find a seller that's selling um, shirts in bulk Finally, it's time to print. I use three different type of printing mediums. The first one is fabric spray paint that I got from Casa. To be honest, they're a little bit expensive. They're like eight pounds for a bottle as far as I can see. I think they're an American brand, so you can probably get it cheaper if you're in the US. But I love the way that the spray painted ones came out. I'm wearing one of them now. I'll put on screen the rest of the ones by spray paint. I think the design looks so clean and you don't get any streaks with it. But another con with doing fabric spray paint is that it's going to stick to the lino. And that's just building up layers where you're just going to lose detail eventually. It's a shame and I wish this wasn't like the nicest looking way for me to do my prints because it is basically ruining the lino um, and also fabric and like little bits of fluff and stuff stick to the lino I found because it's fabric spray paint and then when you try and wash it off like nothing really comes off so they do look the best but they do kind of hinder the lino this stuff is by that brand that I swear everyone had in school as their printing stuff so I thought I'd trust it to be honest it is kind of good, you get a really good value for money, I think this was around £4 and there's so much of it, I've done so many prints and it hasn't even made a dent it seems. Some of the ones with this have turned out pretty good, some of them not so much, I feel like you really see the lines with it and I was using the lino roller as usual, but it just made weird streaks in the fabric, but I feel like that is just the charm of lino printing compared to something like screen printing, it doesn't look as clean but you get what you get, you can't really help it to be honest. But of course none of these fabric ones are going to be as good as actual lino printing paint because that is made for the material so they're always going to look great. The first stamp top that I did for my art collection, that was done with actual lino printing paint. It's not machine wash friendly, it's not really like fabric friendly. That looks great, like the print of that looks fantastic and it's just a shame that I haven't really yet found um, a fabric printing material that can hold up the same way that actual lino printing medium can. If any of you know any other good brands that you've had some success with, let us all know in the comments below. So from this brand I have white and this pinky colour. I thought this was going to be a neon pink. It's not. It kind of looks like a weird in between burnout red. So then I thought I may as well just stick with classic red, especially for a stamp print. And I bought this one. I picked this up from Fred Aldo's. The brand is Speedball. It's pretty good. I think it's better than those ones. I don't know if it's a little bit more expensive. I can't really remember how much I paid. I actually really like this one. The last printing fabric that I've used is really really good. It's just super watery so you can't really roll it on using a lino roller. It's way better to go in with a paintbrush so it really suits small linos and I've only done a couple pieces with this paint. The first one is the first ever thing that I lino printed onto clothes and it's this grey top. I made this I think in lockdown. I think it's a really good paint. It's just super watery and really delicate. Also with that I used it on my project. Um, that I did last year so all of the mouse clicker clothing I hand painted onto the lino itself and then transferred it again it's great I haven't put any of those pieces in the wash but I'm sure it will also stand up as it did with the grey top I think it's a really good brand um, I think it was expensive for what it is it's a tiny tiny pot okay on to the actual printing I recommend that you practice on paper and scrap fabric before you even go onto the piece that you want to print on it just gets you used to the idea of what the print's going to look like and it's just nice to have extra little things um, with your print on I find. I have a big sketchbook that I've used for um, this project I guess you could say of like the hand printed clothes and I'm constantly 
constantly printing before I use all of the different um, fabric paints to see what they look like and it's just nice to have loads of prints that I can then use for cards for people, for art prints and stuff so I definitely recommend doing that. That is how I have made my clothes. I honestly love the way that they all turn out. I think they're really fun. It's so simple to do at home and it is pretty cost effective and once you buy the lino tools, the lino itself and the paint you're good to go forever like you can use this stuff all the time so it's definitely worth it especially with Christmas coming up. A little lino kit is something you could ask for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it inspirational for what you can do at home. Follow me on my social media to keep up with me and subscribe down below. We are getting so close to 20k it's so exciting so yeah I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.